I remembered his name. It was Polly Shore that is the weasel. Oh, in the Suicide Squad. Who is the weasel? But it actually wasn't him, that was the name of the character. Outrageously funny. My butt. So what are we watching today? I heard you found us a movie. I like these episodes that we do. It's more yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Killer Sofa. Killer Sofa. <laughs> and I'm gonna read, uh, oh, let me get my cell phone. Because we need to give our viewers, the audience here, a little bit of context. A killer recliner. Chair becomes enchanted by a girl that starts committing crimes of passion. <laughs> 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 oh, it just repeats the same text over and over again. That's too funny. Because that's all they had to say about it. Well, let's see this movie. Killer Stuff about Jim Morrison. No, I'm Natalie Morrison, I'm sorry. Natalie Wood. Christopher Walken. That's my best impression yet. Uh, yeah, I had a double hear your ego on that one. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Love him. Look at the passion this guy. This guy looks like uh, who's that actor that um, was in the Dark Knight Rises that played Robin. Don't look like him. You, you know what I'm talking about? James Gordon Levitt. Yeah. Joseph Gordon Levitt. Don't look like him. This looks like something dumb and obscure he would be doing. Oh gosh, that guy looks like Peter Cushing. Charming to the last. You don't know how hard I found it signing the order to terminate your life. They should have had him in Rogue One. This is my partner, Inspector Roseanne Gray. He's even Homicides. British. Homicides. Cool. We'd like to ask you some questions about. My oh my gosh! Dude, Lucasfilm is missing out by not having that guy. Oh, this movie's in London. This isn't just a bad American movie, this is a bad BBC movie. I found a restraining book. The guy was obsessed. Francesca makes a habit of attracting weirdos. Not yeah, but what does this have to do with a killer sofa in context of? Obsessed. I'm sorry, this is this is so terrible. I am having some dirt. No good asses. Okay, here here we go, the chair. A recliner. Why, why do they want to steal it so bad? See, that never even came up. Am I wrong? Are we missing something in all this time it's been on? All of... Oh no, her hands... Cut? <laughs> you know the part on the, the recliner, like right there, where you recline on? It just like sliced her hand. So keep going! That's a good sign, let's keep going. Look, it looks super angry now, John. The buttons make it look mean. I have a delivery for Francesca Morton. Francesca? There's no Francesca here. Are you, are you sure it doesn't say Maxi? I and mean, that's my granddaughter. Must have got the wrong address. Yeah. This happens all the time. Oh no, this isn't the couch. The famous recliner I seen 50 years ago. I have a backstory to it. Get it? It's a pun, a backstory, because you sit in the back with your back on it. The jokes, I got them all here, folks. That recliner almost chopped my mate's finger off. Well, I don't want it now. Oh, too spooky for my pawn shop. I feel its energy. Oh, I'm awesome. 
I'm coming! <laughs> look, look at his face! Oh my gosh! I can feel any, every orgasm that's ever been in this chair! Oh, the set! What's happening? Does that mean the show's over? What happened? Cut! 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 This old guy is still alive after that killer orgasm on the sofa? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This episode is just full of like, what if this happened? It's the what if episode. Marvel! Yeti. Like, is the couch gonna, like, awkwardly, like, climb through, like, windows and, like, upstairs? You know, like, and I'm just trying to build a, a, a cohesive narrative for this, because obviously it's not. What if it's, like, Christine? And like it was manufactured like in a weird like way. You remember that? That's a great film. Now that was a movie. <laughs> Look, the couch is in the window. <laughs> oh no, killer sofa. And now it's gone. It should be haunted sofa. That would be a more clever name. You recline in it before you die in it. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the tagline of this. That would have been, or like a pull quote. That would have been like a little catchy. I'm just trying to help this movie out. Oh, what's happening? She's turning red, John. Is the couch sexing her? What's going on? That's why she wanted her to leave. You're really talented. She's like, glad we're done with the movie. Okay, bye! I'm gonna have sex in my recliner now. Oh no, that was a dream. <laughs> <laughs> or a nightmare? That's her dream, is um, having sex with her recliner. Doing some type of sex act with a hat and bra. Oh my gosh, like it's popping out of the door! <laughs> I feel like he had the, the, the director had to hire a moving company for like just to move the chair. This so really you could say this is more of the hero story in a weird way because this thing is a helpful killer couch he's killing a sex pest he's the hero he's the anti-hero mm. has she told her yet that she's been intimate but oh no that was a dream wasn't that a dream i need to go meet my granddad i think i'll be back soon I have to leave for some weird reason. Do you mind just passing through mine and seeing if the recline is okay? What? Please. What? You're hurting me. I just need to know that the recline is okay. Make sure the recliner is okay. okay. I need to screw it later. I'm planning on doing sex sex to it. I should give her a call. I'm watching Captain Carter. I want to be an Avenger. Just gonna pull out her laptop, watch Captain Carter on what ifs, you know, and then like screw her, her and her apartment, you know, quite a romantic evening. She left me. That recliner she bought is possessed. That recliner she bought is possessed, Maxie. I knew there was something wrong with that recliner. She hasn't been herself since she got it. What will you She's became possessed. We've gotta go get, get, get it. 
Get, get it! Oh, that was so funny. He started just grabbing his neck. Was he having a heart attack? <laughs> I think this guy's supposed to be some type of medium. But he comes off as embarrassing more than anything. <laughs> Too bad they didn't get David Carradine for this. But they said he would have choked, so. Yeah, well, I think that's a better way to go. <clears throat> I don't remember laughing so hard at a movie in a long time. This might be my favorite that we've watched the worst of the best. Oh, look, it's grabbing the body, like, up in it, scooping it up in the recliner, look. Oh, gosh. <laughs> It off rooftops. That recliner has got some steady coordination to do this. It hurt its paper clip chip. What supernatural powers does this thing possess and have? Oh my gosh! <laughs> this thing's chasing her! This couch is more active than some people. Somewhere else. You better give us something soon, Lord. You know what's a weird thing about this film? And it's actually not a bad thing. It, here's like three good things. It's got production value. These people seem like seemingly good actors. Sorry. Doors open. We just wanted to make sure you're okay. You okay? No! For really stupid content. Like this should be like a focused study group. Like, is this a real movie or not? These people are really good actors. We've got to go get 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 it. Or I give them like, I wouldn't say they're like Brad Pitt's or you know Leo DiCaprio's, but we've got to go get 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 it. Look, these people are pretty daggone good at like they're better actors than Velocipaster, which was a fantastic movie. But this is a really weird subject matter. Look at Oz. The buttons get extra mean. Get in the box. Get in the box. Oh, so the recliner fits in a box. Throw gasoline on it, put it in the box, and that's how you get rid of it. I like this little guitar in the corner. I just want her to like smash it over. It, it speaks. Oh, she's dumping gasoline on herself? All these people around it are like, you know what, I'm gonna just kill myself, screw it. I've just seen a recliner move. I said I had three good things to say, I guess that was just only two good things. There's good acting, decent actors, and production value. Cause you see how it's got like that um, depth of field look, you know what I mean? But the vignette, it's very nice looking cinematography. It can blow out a match. What can't this killer sofa do? Blew out that match. It's the second match it blew out. Even the cow, even the requirements kind of be getting bored. Oh. Oh, I ran out of matches. No! It's game. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Uh, what? <laughs> I had sex with Fit. Oh, it was a dream. Never mind. So the cops came in blasting. You know, bang, bang, bang. You know what I mean? Because they seen a kill a soap and pills were everywhere. Wait, if so if she's still alive? How long ago did she how many scenes ago did she throw herself out that window in that trash can? Or is she a zombie now? What is happening? I need to stop running, Inspector. 
Are we missing scenes or did the movie just cut out scenes? I think the editor must have got bored and just like... Like the direct, like, okay, remember Detective Guy? He was at the police station, right? And then, now he's here. Now he shot the killer sofa and then he's back at her house. And is it the same night or day? We don't know because it didn't say. It's just like how this movie starts. I want to know who directed this movie or who, whose idea was this? You didn't bring your pistol this evening, did you? I will never bring a gun to a date. Is this a date? No, bring a gun to a date. Everyone likes, like, choking. Oh. 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 oh my gosh! What's happening to his face? This looks like Ghostbusters. Does Bernie Ray Renio. Rayo. Bernie Rayo is the director of this film and he may or may not be a fraud because I'm not finding much on him but just a name and a really uh, odd a, a picture that I can't even make heads or tails if this is even a real picture of this man or not. Is that how it ends? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we just watched a film called Killer Sofa. And it got pretty interesting for me. I liked this film until I didn't. Because it got just weird and didn't make any sense. And if someone can explain this movie, please comment down below. I'd really, really appreciate that. Uh, John, would you recommend this film? He don't think so. Well, that's worst of the best, number 18, I think. All right, if you guys hadn't already, I hope you guys will please like this episode and also subscribe to our channel. And please comment down below if you want us to watch anything. Anyway, thanks guys, bye! Never over.